A symbolic climb up a steep hill. The same path government forces took 134 years ago to ambush Chief Poundmaker and his people. Today, the Prime Minister comes in peace, armed with an apology and the exoneration of Chief Poundmaker. On behalf of the Government of Canada, to confirm without reservation that Chief Poundmaker is fully exonerated of any crime or wrongdoing. Redemption at last. What happened today, here we will never forget. In 1885, Canada was in the midst of its first and only civil war, the Northwest Rebellion, led by Louis Riel and his Métis supporters. But Chief Poundmaker, like most First Nations leaders, tried to stay out of it. After a military ambush at this site, Chief Poundmaker stopped his warriors from chasing after the retreating Canadian soldiers, likely stopping a massacre. But he wasn't celebrated as a hero. He was convicted of treason felony. It was a real smear job. Blair Stonechild co-authored a book that revealed the Canadian government had an ulterior motive to prosecute First Nations chiefs. The government's agenda essentially was to gain control over, over Indigenous people. Well, it had nothing to do with justice. Poundmaker's incarceration and death soon after was followed by decades of government oppression and a legacy of distrust between non-Indigenous and Indigenous people. You know, when people heal and, and forgive, it's after an apology. Breaking that silence of the truth of the history of the Indigenous peoples of these lands. Breaking the silence. Breaking the silence, writing the history books. This moment doesn't erase that, but it was embraced as a moment of truth and reconciliation. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Poundmaker Cree Nation, Saskatchewan.